All right, now that we've got ourselves a surface created, let's make a simple alignment. And for this simple alignment, I'm just going to use a polyline, PL, enter. I'm going to turn off my snaps and then just try and trace down the center of this road. I'm going to do one, two, three clicks. There we go, nice simple polyline. Not too many PIs in that particular soon to be alignment going to go up here to alignment and say create an alignment from an object so could have got an object in there click on that the different kind of objects it can take are lines and arcs and polylines I like polylines because I'm a one-click kind of person click on that guy I'm done gonna hit enter a little arrow is gonna show up saying that's gonna go up I'd like it to go down in this case so I'm gonna do R for reverse even though the arrow doesn't change it's going to build my alignment in a top-down kind of way. I'm going to call this one here, uh, new 60 foot road. It's going to be a center line alignment. Uh, it's not going to put it on any particular site. The proposed style is what I want to see. That's going to be the one that we're used to seeing. It's going to put it on the C road for us. And instead of using that label style, I want to use something simpler like just majors and minor only. I'm going to let it put curves in for me, but just for kicks, I'm going to knock the radius down to something much smaller. And I, because I hit enter, it said OK, but the last box in there was erase existing entities. I like to do that, so whenever I select this here, I only have one object selected. You can see that because my ribbon up here turns green, and if we were to read it, it would say that I've picked the alignment in new 60 road. On your resolution, you should be able to see it a little better. All right, now that I've got it, you can see that it starts up here at zero. It works its way down to, here we are, about 1400. Not too shabby. Go back to zoom extends. Now I want to build a profile from this alignment on the surface. To do that, I want to go up here to profile, create a surface profile. It's going to give me my two choices that I have now, which is my current alignment, my current surface. I'll make sure they're both highlighted or at least selected. Say add. Now it's going to build a surface for the entire length of my alignment, which you can see up here. We didn't change the length, just took the default. At that point, I'm good. I'm going to draw in the profile view. Here's my profile view list of options. I can see that it's picking my alignment. It's going to call itself the parent alignment with another counter. That's fine. I would normally fill in a description if I was going to build that for work here, but in this case, I'm not. I'm going to put it on just a profile view style of major grids. This, all these styles here come from the template that we're using. And since I know it's going to be short and i got plenty of room, I don't need to like stack my profile a bunch of times. For the station range, I'm going to leave it on automatic because it's only 1400 feet long. For the same with the view height, I don't care what the height is, I just want it to show me all of it. Profile display options. We only have one surface in here to show, so I'm going to have it draw the one that it has. And right now, for data bands, we're going to say no bands because we don't need those with just what we're going to do. Profile hatch options again, default is fine. Going to create the profile view, it wants to draw from the lower left to the right, so I'm going to pick over here, and there we go. Boom got myself a profile. The red line is the surface profile of the ground that we've built just a moment ago out of our contours. And as you can tell, since we didn't do any kind of smoothing or any kind of editing, we've got a funky ground surface that kind of has a bunch of bumps. But for what we're needing, that's okay. The other thing is that the profile view, which is all the gray grid, all the pink text, the blue border, all that's the profile view, it currently is set to a 10 to 1 style. So for every one foot vertical, or for every one foot horizontal, it goes up 10 feet uh, vertical. So this is an exaggerated. So if we were to look at this, it is bumpy, but it's not this bumpy. Those bumps are 10 times bigger than they should be. All right, now with our profile view of our existing surface, let's put our own profile in. Let's go back up to profile. We'll drop that down. Before we made a surface profile, now we want to create our own profile. So click on Profile Creation Tools. It's going to say, please select the profile view. 
this is the profile view this is those are everything but this don't pick that that's just the profile but the profile view is everything else I'm gonna pick one of the gray grid lines now with this I like to give these guys here names to represent what I'm going to use like in this case the elevation I'm going to leave it on design profile that way it'll come out as a blue line which I'll expect and then I'm going to use a complete label set that way it should label any swales or humps that I put into this road I'm going to say OK when I do that you'll get your profile tools if you just loaded your system it'll probably show up up here in the upper left corner a little bit hard to see but look up there anyways um, if you've used it before it's going to show up someplace wherever you left it before most of this toolbar is for editing the first button here lets us create one if we look at the curve settings we can see right now they're set to 150 good enough for what we need I'm going to say OK also on that same drop down is one that lets us draw just the tangents or in this case here tangents with curves and for ex just for this example I still would like to use draw tangents with curves click OK on that I'm going to zoom in there and seeing as how I don't have a point that I have to attach it to I like to attach it to where the ground starts I'm assuming a new road is going to start from where the old road is I'm going to come out here some distance turn my snap back off pick out here dip down below just because I want to see some cut in my corridor which we're going to build next come out here and then I'm going to end it again I'm going to snap to the end of this assuming it's going to snap to another road all these points we can adjust once I'm done snapping I'm going to hit enter as soon as I hit enter it should label all these things now we can see that for this situation here I've got a crest curve this labeled my crest curve for me this here is a label sag curve so my sag curve label I've dropped down here the sag curve label starts way up here but it kinda crosses over all my stuff so if I highlight it I get a node a little diamond node I'm gonna grab this and pull it down just a little bit so it's not crossing over all my text I can see that that's not too shabby I'm done drawing my profile so I can take that, this guy out and there we are we have a profile view with a surface profile and a constructed profile we're on our way to building a corridor